Hey guys, Mesh Bandit here again with another episode of Let's Play uh, Planet Coaster. And we are at that little plaza from last episode. Or, yeah, last episode. And we're building a restaurant, a little bit more of a permanent, a little bit more of a sit-down restaurant. Um, I really struggled with this for a while at first. Uh, I had a hard time placing the stalls so that they lined up with the paths. And I had an even harder time making sure that the that it kind of looked like an interior. There's absolutely no way to do um, interiors as far as as far as I know. I mean, I'm sure there are. Excuse me. I'm sure there are ways to do it. Um, I'm just not there yet. Um, I see a lot of people building and making great, great, great stuff. Uh, you know, all those people that I know you have all been watching too, Silverette and Cucamunda, I even mentioned them on a previous video. Uh, those guys are just, it's, it's mind-numbing what they're able to do with the game. And I'm just, I'm just not there yet. Um, one of the things I've noticed with a lot of them is they use lots of little structures, this whole idea of Planet Coaster using uh, different grids for different buildings. Well, different grids for different parts of buildings. And that's something I really tried to mess with here. Um, I really tried to get different uh, grid pieces so that I can move parts of buildings into other parts the way I want it. And it's it's still a work in progress for me. Uh, these tables here, I kind of dig the way that, again, that wasn't my idea. I saw, saw some other people do it. Uh, I think it looks great. Same thing with the raised little patio there, using roof pieces as a patio. Um, I think it's awesome. I think it's really smart. I just wish I had thought of it. <laughs> I mean, I, it, it's, it, it's it's almost disheartening to, <laughs> to think you're, hey, look at all the cool stuff I'm making. And then you look at other people's work and you're just like, holy, holy crap. Like, for realsies. It's, it's really incredible what everyone is able to come up with. And here I feel, I feel like the kindergartner uh, with this amongst a bunch of doctoral students. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, I know why. I don't have a lot of time to devote to these games. I, uh, real life, whoa, you know, family, kids, job, all that stuff. But anyway, enough of that. Um, I was very proud of this building by the end. I, I do like what it, what it, what it became. I mean. I guess my style of building has always been a much more simple, much more realistic uh, design. Something you would see in an amusement park more than a heavily themed park. And I guess I'm kind of hoping that that's something that Planet Coaster will be able to excel in is the whole generic, you know, just generic build. Uh, but I'm way off topic here. What I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out a great way to... Uh, cover up those roof bits just to try to make it feel a bit more permanent I don't think I stick with these uh I don't think I st oh maybe I do I say I don't think I stick with those uh chimney pieces as columns but I guess I do I'm pretty proud of this work here I, I was trying to figure out how to use the control and shift buttons when moving pieces and attaching pieces I saw a tutorial I'm not sure who it was it might have been silver it um, and now I understand it better. So the next buildings, <laughs> the next things I build, I will be much better with the shift and the control buttons. So this building ended up being kind of a, a bastardization of Alpine. Just, it feels that way. Actually, to be fair, it kind of feels like a giant old fashioned IHOP. I don't know how many of you are familiar, but IHOP used to have the giant peaked roof, uh, this is kind of what this reminds me of, <laughs> with a giant wood wood face there, but eh, whatevs. Um, trying a bunch of different things, trying to, I'm trying to do a lot uh, with this video on, is, is really trying to come up with interesting ways to use pieces, uh, either ways I've seen other people use pieces or trying to come up with my own ways. So there's these buildings, these builds, these videos will have a lot more experimentation going on here. And that's probably what you'll see a lot of, is, is just a lot more experimentation. Rotating pieces, and trying different pieces, and moving pieces, and, and then getting frustrated and deleting giant chunks. So, <laughs> that's what you're going to see. At this point, I realized how not like an interior this was feeling, even though I wanted it to be an interior. 
Uh, and I'm not exactly sure how to achieve that because, like I said, there's no path covers or anything, and I don't think that's something I actually want. I don't think I want path covers, but I want a better way to build real interiors that are uh, peep accessible, peep friendly. That's that's something I always liked. Is I always liked that a lot of the buildings, a lot of the creations I made, were peep friendly, and I struggled a bit with this building getting it to feel like that. So. From the outside, I think it looks really good, but if you were to go to the quote-unquote interior, I think it would be sorely lacking. Trying to trying to find a bunch of different windows there. Uh, this wall looked bland, so I just slapped some arrows on it in case you you know you didn't know which way to go. I'm working on the different roof pieces here, different roof heights and stuff like that, and trying to figure out how it's all going to work. And I ended up taking that away. I thought I'd have a flat roof back there, kind of a backstage area. But then when you think about it, you can actually see the back of that building as you're walking down the path there over by the the forge, that, that giant yellow and black flat ride. So, I don't know. You know, if, if I sound defeated, that's not my intention. <laughs> I didn't want to sound defeated. It's just, I guess it's hard to learn a whole new game. Yeah, it plays a lot like Roller Coaster Tycoon, but there's a lot of little things that are totally different and I just don't have the time to devote to to learn. When I was playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Hardcore I was in college and I actually had a lot of spare time. Uh, a lot of spare time to play and it just it doesn't exist anymore. So we're actually wrapping up the building already. This is going to be a really short episode. I think I'm, I'm right at about the 10 minute mark and I've been going steady for about 7 here so Starting to do some foliage, dropping some of these. I like these little uh, barrels with the plants in them. I think it looks pretty nice. I decided finally just to close it all off here and at least fake an interior better. I do a little bit of interior work here. Um, not exactly. This is the part I'm not all that happy with. It, it feels serviceable, but it's definitely something that I think needs improving. So working with those that wall trim I use that 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 roof line a lot in this video here I decided to see what I could do if I could get the paths to come across I tried all these different uh, I tried going from the other end and hooking it up and the the paths in this are really finicky with how they end up uh, with how they actually connect to each other and so I've been trying really hard I tried really hard here and I was not happy with it but uh, I'm doing better, I think, with the mixing of the different wall pieces. I think that's that's something that's that's starting to come to me, and it's starting to feel better. So this is what I ended up settling with, and it's just basically a raised patio entirely. And it's okay. It's Like I said, it's fine. I'll take it. So I think we're going to get into some foliage, and that's going to be it. So uh, in the next video, uh, we're going to be attacking a pirate area. I kind of got tired of this theme this whole generic building and I really wanted to explore a lot of the pirate pieces which I have yet to do the game's been out several weeks and I have yet to play the pirate parts so uh, with that being said uh, I've got a couple more episodes of time lapse like this uh, and these won't and 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 by the time these are live uh, I'll have done a bunch of more videos so I don't know exactly when the format will change based on what you guys want but if this is the style you like a lot of time lapse with commentary that'd be great to let me know that if you liked it the old way with time lapse mixed with real time, we can do that too. Uh, I make these on the weekends and I edit them throughout the week. And I hopefully will be posting them every couple days here, as long as I've got enough on the back burner. So with that, uh, we're finishing up our build here. And in the next episode, like I said, we'll jump to pirates. So make sure to hit like and subscribe. Be sure to comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't. And uh, I'll just let it finish up here with the music. And I will see you in the next episode of Planet Coaster. Have yourself a wonderful day and a wonderful, wonderful week. Talk to you guys later. See you later. Bye-bye.